Hi, everybody. I'm DJ Sixsmith, hanging out with NFL and CBS sideline reporter Evan Washburn. What's up? All right. Hey, good to be with you. Thanks. It's this time of year. Football's back. Ready to get into the swing of things. You got Mahomes week one. I mean, it's a good time for you right now. <laughs> it is. It, it's, it feels like you want to get going right away, especially when we have this sort of event where everybody's together and you're really starting to forecast what it is the early portion of the season is going to look like um, on the production side. And I was just on a training camp tour, mm -hmm. which was really beneficial, but it also, again, just kind of excites you. Yeah. And you're like, oh, we still got a few weeks for this <laughs> thing. Can't we kick this off? But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be great. Who did you get to check out? Oh, wow. So it was nine teams in 13 days. And we hit the West Coast. So it was Chargers, Rams, Raiders, mm -hmm. Chiefs, and then East Coast, uh, Patriots, Browns, Steelers, Ravens, Jets. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's like speed dating. <laughs> how I best describe it. But uh, it's it's very helpful as you get ready for the year. Definitely. Well, you mentioned the Jets, and they're a pretty interesting team because expectations have been ratcheted mm -hmm. up. Adam Gase is now in town. What intrigues you the most about Gang Green? Well, I would start with Adam Gase and, and his ability to get the most out of Sam Darnold. And, and I, I make no bones about it. I'm a huge Gase fan. I, I know the way it ended in Miami isn't the way he would have liked it or probably Dolphins fans would like it. But I think that he has the ability to, again, take a young quarterback like Sam Darnold, see his strengths, and build an offense around those strengths. And in my short time there and getting to talk to him, he seems energized by the type of player Sam Darnold is, but probably more importantly, the type of competitor and person. Like He likes to yeah. coach hard, and Adam Gase is going to coach him hard. And Defense should be interesting. Greg Williams always brings a group that's going to come after you. They've got some injuries, but I do think the Jets will be better. How much better in that division, um, we'll see. Well, one team that took a big leap last year was the Chicago Bears. And Mitchell Trubisky, one of those young guys that we saw some good stuff, mm -hmm. probably some stuff to still work on. And Chicago is a team that really is excited to just Absolutely. wash away everything from last year. So where should their expectations be? Well, I think they're probably pretty high because of what Matt Nagy was able to do, much like we just described with Adam Gase and Sam Darnold, is he – looks at the strengths of Trubisky, his athleticism, his ability to run the ball, and having a strong arm, and, and tailored and created an offense that I think really built to those strengths. Now, at some point, Trubisky's going to have to take a step forward and, and be able to probably take on more, whether it's checks at the line, the level of offense they're going to run, because defenses have had a whole offseason to scout what Nagy's done in year one and what Trubisky did. So I'll be curious to see how they mature, because – Everybody can kind of have that breakout year, right. and Nagy had that running that team and that offense, but it's how you respond to a full off season of defensive coordinators just pouring over what it is you do. So you mentioned the East Coast teams you spent some time with. Baltimore was one of those squads, and they were a playoff team last year, but don't really know what to make of them this year. They lost a bunch of defensive guys. Earl Thomas is in there now. Should we pencil them in as potentially in that wild card spot? They're the, one of the biggest mysteries in the league. Because of offensively, as you mentioned, Lamar Jackson comes in and has a, a fantastic run. But much like with Trubisky and Matt Nagy, the way he played the position was different than everybody else. And it caught defenses off guard. They've had a full off season to prepare for what they're going to get out of Baltimore. But Baltimore has a new offense coordinator in Greg Roman. Mm -hmm. And they're, as they've described it, built something from the ground up. So we really don't know what we're going to see from Baltimore. I would say it's going to be a lot of option and utilizing Lamar's strengths, which are his legs. And then defensively, yes, that, that, I think those losses are going to challenge that group. They have a great defensive coordinator in, in Don Wink, Martindale. They still have some talent. They bring in Earl Thomas. But losing C.J. Mosley mm. is a big deal. Yeah. And, he, and Eric Weddle, on top of that, it was like having two coaches on the field. So how they manage the early portion of the season as chemistries being built on that side of the ball, I think will be telling for how many wins that, that Baltimore team gets. Should be an interesting year, Evan. Thanks so much. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you. You got it.